Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we're back and we got a whole new world of a Jurassic. And it's Jurassic World. We got a few parks here. And some of the coolest ones, like this one, the Adonis Rex. When I saw this one at Target, I'm like, I got, I get that. Yeah, it does, because it lights up. It's green here. And the eyes, I think they turn red. It's really cool looking. And speaking of red, we got the T-Rex. And then we got some others. Uh, I can't even pronounce the name, but maybe I'll give it a shot. <laughs> so please don't hate me because I can't pronounce. You guys can help me out. That's cool. And we got a bunch of other dinosaurs. And one that even swims here. And then we got some cool ones, like, you know, you see the triceratops and stuff but this one it's a different color we had the diablo tops or whatever and then we got some others that i just haven't seen before but that's why i want to do a special video here so we can see what's out there let's go <laughs> just looking at the first one we're doing and it's called we'll take a look it's the elamosaurus i just want to uh, the mo and the mama mom told me you better shop around it's got the mo in there mo 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 right, just whatever goes with it you know just comes out but it is the jurassic world you can see there and it is the elamosaurus and it's the gigantic trackers and you see dino trackers there it's by mattel and you can see that this is somebody's pushing on the back and that's supposed to do something and well speaking of the back there's the back it says it's got side to side chomping action and so when you push on the back, it'll swing back and forth and chomp when it turns left. And then it's got an up and down attack. Oh, so you can actually go up and down, not just from side to side. And it's got tracking gear included so you can keep track of your toys. Actually, if you had a phone app, where's my toy? Can't... Do, 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 do. It's not a toy. Get out of here. Wire snippers. I'm um, sure a little pocket knife might work, but this is just beautiful. Two snips. And she, she's out. I was going to say he, but you know, you got to slur your he's. She. Uh, so there's the yapper. Ooh, that's quite the tongue. It opens up. There's how many buttons on the back of this? Mo. <laughs> Mouse is the Mosaurus. Um, it looks like it's got a couple here. So you got one here and one here. And uh, you got a card right there so you can scan it. There you go, right? And then it's tail, and it doesn't move. Can you move the, oh, you can move the fins. Nice. It's like a water skeeter. <laughs> <laughs> we used to play with those when we were kids. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Remember those water skeeters? They just zip across the pond and stuff, and they'd try to like, uh, splunge them, and they float everywhere. And they're still skeeting around. Just couldn't sink those bad boys. That, okay, so we got the left button here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you open it up, I mean, he's got some uh, teeth there. Uh, some of them fell out because she didn't brush or floss with some eels, you know, <laughs> those long things. And some of them are electric. <laughs> Lost some teeth. And then let's do the right button here. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that one better. They're going down. I'm going down. She's going fishing. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> we got to get her some water. You can actually turn the neck, although, well, I guess you could, yeah, but I don't see the purpose of it, really. But I just like the buttons go from side to side to down. Actually, you can kind of do kind of an oval motion if you can hit them both at the same time, sort of. That's cool. I like her. Ella Mosaurus. I'll just call her Ella. <laughs> I like that. I like you, Ella. Camera mom, since the audio's not picking her up, she says it looks like a snake and it's scary. You think it's a snake? <laughs> Yeah, that was freaky. Yeah, wasn't it? What? Was it's a harmless garden snake. It's an Ella. How can you be afraid of an Ella? <laughs> Camera mom who put this next to her headstand at night in the bed. She'll wake up. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I like Ella. Here we go. This one will be a fun one to pronounce. Nigerosaurus. I think I got that right. It sounds good to me. Nigerosaurus. Okay. So this one's Jurassic World, Wild Roar, Nigerosaurus, and it's the Dino Trackers by Mattel. And up here it says levels of aggression. There's a button that you can start pushing. If you push it uh, just softly, it does a little bit. You push it really hard and it really goes whackerdoodle. Oh, and it's got a speaker here, which means it's got some sounds. That's what I love about the Dino Trackers. Uh, it seems like all of them we come across have sounds. And so on the back, um, levels of aggression, we saw that. They got the sounds. And then you can see under the others that you can collect, you got the desert one because it's got the cactus there. For, and we got that one right here. Yeah, that looks like the one we got. This one is the, oh boy, Regaliceratops. Regal. Regal. Ah, it's a Regal. Regaletta. Ooh, I think we got the other one. Is this one, and I don't know what, the, the mountains. So it's a mountainous range. I think it's a uh, Orcorap. It's an orca wrapped. I think we got the orc crap. And then we got the, who's the other? Oh, we got the other one. We collected them all. Woo! <laughs> this is, I didn't know it. We got something that's very irritating. It's an irritator. <laughs> They finally got one that I liked. It's it's a tater, man. The, you know, little tater tots going to school, you know, a little something irritator.
I didn't get to in time, but it sounded something that was sick. Well, she's green. I was gonna say, well, we need more because, you know, can't yank the tail. No tape. Righty ho. Good on you, guy. Oh, and this looks like a plant eater. You know, you don't see any sharp teeth, right? So it looks good. And you can see you got the bumps, you know, kind of a little bit of a armor to her, I guess. Beady eyes. And it just looks solid. Looks really cool. I love that. I didn't know. I mean, I knew some dinosaurs when I was a kid. T-Rex the fave, you know, but anything else that couldn't terrify you, I wasn't too interested in. Plant eaters. We eat the plants, man. The eaters of the plants. Okay, well, there's instructions down below. There's a bunch of uh, different languages and warnings. Uh, don't do what I did. Be sure to read them. Okay, so we got the tail here, right? You gotta have the tail. I'll call her Niger. Okay, so uh, there's a bottom. So I, you know, the rough parts go on the top. I don't know, maybe you can, here, let's see. Which way? Does that look normal? That looks better. Okay, that looks good. And then, you know, just how to play with your dino. Pet it. Oh, wow. Uh, you got the card here. So you want to scan that. Okay. And then uh, you can move the legs forward. Like she's going down, getting a drink. Uh, let me move the legs. We'll move the back legs. So you can move the back legs. Really cool. And then the button. Oh, this is the side to side. Right. Aggression. Whoa. I forgot these uh, gales can speak. And when they speak, look out, man. <laughs> Sound like she had a little indigestion. <laughs> and she tooted. That's what it sounds like. I don't know many of the sounds of the dinosaurs. I didn't live back then. Wow, that one was loud. That was pretty cool. Those are cool sounds. I really like them. So let's see what happens when we really go aggression. I mean, when you do that, it just gets caught up on kind of a loop, a short cycle of it, of saying, you know, doing the same sound. So it's kind of like, you know, you're doing the rapting, but we will do it with the, uh, <laughs> with the, or crapter, or something that's very irritating. So little aggression, major aggression. It's really cool. It's really nice to have something that you can have as a pet. You know, just, you're probably about yay big to the, <laughs> to the foot of this. I don't know how big this dinosaur is in real life. It's a toy, so you're fine. But, you know, this is nice because, you know, you're not worried about it eating you because it don't like uh, meat, you know, and things like that. It's not a carnivore. It hasn't been to the carnival. It just seems like it's got so many sounds for five of them. And it doesn't matter if you go left or right, it's going to play the same sounds. Just not in sequence, but just kind of rotates through them, it seems like. So, really cool. And this one is Niger. Next, we're going something that's very a tater. <laughs> Somebody's gonna put in the comments. It's not irritator. Well, it may be. And if it isn't, I mean, it just sounds so adorbs, the tater part. I'll call her tater head. <laughs> <laughs> so it's right there. You're a tater. I got it right. You can't, you can't say I didn't. You just can't. It's already out there. And then for... Wow, she likes her name. She likes me. Levels of aggression. You heard the speaker there. And then on the back, just some nice pictures to give you an idea of what you're going to get into. And you can see it's levels of aggression a little bit and flip it hard just on the back. There's a button there. And then you got the others we already collected. So we'll just go ahead and get tater head out. You know, without the tail, she ain't gonna bounce that well. Gotta get the tail. Okay, you can see the speaker her belly and then the uh, screw, you know, to unscrew it to get tater. She gone cray. Here's the code, the QR code. And notice that the tail is actually not touching the table here, but it does provide really good balance. And if she, you know, if went back, you've got some support. So that's really cool. The arms do go out. Like it's coming to get you. And the sharp teeth just gives it away. It's a carnivore because- Life is a carnivore, carnivore. Okay, so here we go with the button on the back here for the aggression. Let's hear the sounds. I like that sound, that was pretty good. So we'll go to the left, see if it's the same sounds or anything different. It's hard to tell if there was a new sound there because they kind of sound the same. I like Tater Head. I mean, she just looks great. And look, you know what? which way's north? If you look at her head, it's all mossy green. That's north. 
It's just moss. Okay. I like Tater and then, oh, Niger and then Ella. I can remember Elmo better than Ella. Okay, here's the next one. Oh, this one's a fun one. This one's, oh crap, a raptor. <laughs> no, it's Orca Raptor. I said it right. Don't chew me out in the comments. Go ahead, type the word chew. I don't know what you mean, and I won't like it. <laughs> so, oh craptor. Wild Roar, Jurassic World, Dino Trackers, Mattel. Levels of aggression, left and right. And then, of course, the back, you can see just some nice pictures. And of course, the other ones that we got. And it's got a speaker. And this one was nice because it's got like an umbilical cord here. You pull it out, the batteries complete the circuit, then it hears it, but it keeps it. So when, you know, others are at the store doing this, they don't wear out the batteries, right? So we're good. So let's go ahead and get her out. Halloween's coming up. Of course, if you're watching this video, you know, in six months, it's still coming up. <laughs> How many of you guys are dressing up like dinosaurs and gals? We you dress up as a girl's eyes. You can't do that, can't you? No, 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 no. You have to find a, a guy, dude. You just don't think, hey, I'm not from the Jurassic world, so I can't dress up like a girl dinosaur. I mean, what's more confusing, being a female mailman or a male ladybug? Ah. Okay, so we got this one here and it looks cool. And you open up, oh, that's nice, some scissors, scissor teeth. We'll call uh, Orca Raptor. So it's it's like a mini version of the Therizinosaurus because it's got the pitchforks, you know, a little Freddy Krueger action there, you know. I mean, that's what they do. They're kind of a, an in-between, you know, a farmer because they got the pitchforks, you know, they can tear up the earth, they can plant seeds, and then it grows to eat. And then that was taking too long, so they decided to grow some teeth, uh, sharper teeth for carnivore time, you know. That's just the way I roll. I gotta get the tail out first. Okay, hold on. There's the tail. Okay, it's got feathers on it. Yeah, it just totally reminds me of that bird, a Therizinosaurus. So, ah, I think that looks right. That looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead. Here's the uh, QR code. QR. Here we go. Oh yeah. So you guys may want to just keep this in case if you know you want to you know stuff it back up here underneath the belly in between the batteries if you can get it right because there's a speaker. If you want to play with it without all the noise, you know, pull it out and now we're ready to rock and roll. That's some cool sounds. And look, you can control how wide her mouth goes just by not adding or applying too much pressure on the back, and then you go full pressure, little fool, let her fool. She didn't like that. Let's go left. That is so cool because there's a little bit of a resistance when you go like sort of aggression and you have to push past that resistance to go full to really open her mouth. I love it. I think those, we got all the sounds here. So is that kind of like, tell me guys in the comments, because you had the Pyroraptor, right? And you got the Therizinosaurus, but they're all birds of a feather, aren't they? They're in it together. I mean, except you got the, you know, Raptor, and you got Therizin. I mean, why so many different names? They got feathers. They're some sort of bird, you know, not like Big Bird, although that'd be terrifying. Okay, so the next one. This one's a fun one. This one is Regal Lyceratops. Regal. Regal Lyceratops. Uh, again, Jurassic World, Donald Trackers, Mattel. And you can see right there, levels of aggression. Again, you're just moving the button, I think, on the back. And it's got some sound, which is always fun. And it's got the picture of, you know, the cactus to let you know it's a desert roaming dino. If they had deserts back then, I assume they did. Otherwise, how would she be camouflaged? Okay. <laughs> That was a really cool sound. But this one sounds really good. We gotta get it out of her tail. But go ahead and take a look, boys and girls. Look at that. And then some horns and stuff. A uh, little tail. Mm, nice snap. Okay, so let's move. Uh, I don't know why you'd wanna do that. Maybe she's gotta get down and lick up some water, right? Oh, wow. It actually moves a little bit outside the back hind legs. So let's not do that. Let's keep her up. There we go, flat, cool. Um, and then we got, uh, this is a QR code, yeah, very nice. 
God, I just love the horns. This is such a cool color. With the Triceratops, I have not been disappointed in any one of them. Diablo, I haven't been disappointed. The colors look cool. I mean, is it really, that's what they were back then? I don't know how scientists can tell the colors of them and stuff but through the bones, because they have no skin left over. I mean, how do they tell? Maybe through the DNA recreate, they do that thing, you know? Anyways, it's cool. And then this one looks like it's a button here. And then this one is the knob that you can move back and forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to push. It looks like a button though. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just something that they had to like, to give it that, you know, stuff they couldn't make it when they put the mold here uh, to put it in there so you had to like take part of it and super glue it in there because it you see how it's just like edged here it's got like a slit on both sides it just looks like it's a button yeah but it ain't doing anything so i think it's just something they had to like glue in they're missing a part <laughs> okay let's go ahead and do this back and forth Ooh, that last part was pretty gurgly it almost sounds like she was laughing creepily ha 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 does she open her mouth? Because I can't see. Can she open? No, her mouth doesn't open. Well, that's kind of weird. Look at that. That's cool. In and out the window. Let's see what that works when I go left or right. Let's see. It did. Did you see that? She pulled in and cringed back. So when she's under attack... Actually, she does it both left and right. She comes in both left and right. Those are some awesome sounds. And then you can do that feigning like you're not gonna charge, you know? And it's just like, I'm scared. And then let loose. Super cool, man. Okay, let's go to this next one right here. The Hammond Collection. Oh, don't make me pronounce this. Is the Metriacanthoso. Metriacanthoso. Oh, what? What a tongue twister. Yeah, the rest of the pre cats, the rest of the tithers. It's like, look, I'll just call her Met. Hey, we just met. I mean, you can see there the Hammond collection. You got that old dude who opened up Jurassic Park and he's the cause of all these toys, man. I blame you. I mean, you got the sides first, right? Mm, anyways, the sides. But on the back is interesting because you got that uh, big dude with the glasses in the movie and he's sitting there. You can see in the picture he's picking up something and it explains after shutting down Jurassic Park's security system. Oh, it's Danny. Nedry makes his way to the cold storage room and secret steals the embryos of the oh we just met as well as other dinosaur species dennis 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 open them up pull them out yeah she's strapped in around the ankles okay now she's probably not going to have any balance without the tail so we might as well just work on that okay there's only one way and it's that way. That's weird. I mean, I don't recall having a dinosaur. It looks like they got ankles that can bend like that. You can see the ankle. I mean, mm, I guess. Ballet. Pirouette. <laughs> <laughs> She failed, <laughs> okay. But let's see if we can get her to, oh, this is gonna be a little bit difficult because you got so many different moving parts. Okay, maybe this one goes back a little bit. Just the foot, the extension right here and the way it's like textured, it kind of reminds me of a chicken <laughs> rooster. It's like, we're having chicken feet tonight. That looks good, but look at that. Cause that leg's going bowed out, but I think that's the way it's supposed to, oh, wow. I need some more support in the hiney. Ooh, yeah, mm hmm. Okay, I think we got something here. And the arms move in and out, right? And they go up and down. And they even have joints in the middle of the elbow here. Wow, that's cool, I like that. That's pretty sweet. I like meta, the metaverse. And then what about, you can twist, move the head. I don't see a button on the back where you can do it, but you can close, open, twist, move. So many different dinosaurs. Man, they must have dug up a lot of bones to find all these and just say, oh, we're running out of names. Let's call them Tater and Meta. <laughs> That's a really cool looking one. I like the Hammond collection. That's awesome. Oh man, look at that. We got a whole herd of dinosaurs just going through it all. That's cool. Now for the big ones. I want to save this one for last because it's one we want to turn off the lights because it actually lights up. It's really cool looking. Um, but let's put this one down. I had to use doll stands to prop this guy up. This girl. Oh. By these Lego cities. It looks fun. I want to do a video on it because you can pull them back and they just take off. And you got some like little stunts they can do and some tracks. So here we go. She's blushing. No, stop. Not all this attention. I'm red. Jurassic Park and it's electronic real feel. And it's the Transforce Rex and you can see there you got a big yellow arrow and when you push on the back it roars and it just growls and it's the 93 classic and then the back real feel it says <laughs> you got the chomp and a poor baby dinosaur in her mouth and then roar so you push on the back and then reveal what 
How does it reveal? Oh, it's from his, her belly. Does it actually come with the dinosaur in the belly? Do we have to get a baby dinosaur or something? We'll figure that one out. And then the other ones you can collect is the HMM25. Okay, there are serial numbers. Anyways, it just looks really cool, like an armadillo. And then you got, is that Malcolm? He looks like a Batman. I digress. Let's go ahead and open up the textured feel of a real T-Rex. Yeah, there might be like clips underneath, so we're gonna have to go under. Uh, it looks like you got an arrow here, and it looks like it's got perforation around the side. You're supposed to rip this open. Uh, see, they hid that, so I might still. That might be a little bit difficult. So we twist. <sighs> There's that one. Uh, there, that one's hiding way up underneath. But okay. Oh, I was gonna say this is a bad boy. She's a bad girl turn that in so turn that out so it's nice so you can put it in the box this one's really cool and if you can zoom in on the camera camera mom it just it's got that texture but the feel feels kind of like rubbery leathery uh kind of like i don't know i guess how could scientists know that this is what a t-rex felt like you know they got bones to work with oh i imagine this bone felt like this now i don't think so so maybe they're going off some other texture like an alligator or something <laughs> But it's cool. So the arms, they go up, the puny little arms. Very terrifying. And they go in. Very cool looking. That just squishes in. That's cool. Feels almost spongy like. SpongeBob. And I'm just trying to see if you can. Oh. I was afraid to do that because it, it had a lot of resistance, but it's in place and it looks really cool like that. Like um, the T-Rex is now a carnivore going up to eat some berries. No, because everything that it wants is usually smaller in it. So it has to run with its mouth to the ground, you know, scoop it up like it. <laughs> what is on this side? Oh, <laughs> QR code. Cue me, baby. Cue me. I thought there was something you could push on, but that that's cool. Okay, so it's got the speaker here, and we're supposed to put it like this and push down on it, and it's supposed to roar for us. Look, you got a hole in the mouth, right? So whatever you put in there is supposed to be swallowed and come down. See, it's got a slice in its belly. Because it makes it as nice. We have nothing to put in here. It's a cobbler. What is this? How on earth can it resist? Such a sweet little suck it and crab. Cut the moss with the loss. Here we go. In the sauce. Now some flour. I think just a dab. Not sure, because you're dead, and you're certainly lucky you are. Because I just lost my knife in this little slice. <laughs> it won't come out. <laughs> okay. Phew. So now we want to do the sound. So we're going to like. Okay, we got it here. We're we just supposed to push on the back. Here we go. Three, two. And there's. You can see the speaker is right there. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Open it back. When it's roaring like that, you gotta have the mouth open, otherwise I'm just not believing it. Oh, I was ventriloquizing, or she was to me. That one's a cool one, because it's like got that like raptor sound, or it's like, like a snake kind of like, just before they strike. That was a cool sound, I really like that one. That's some good soundage. I love that. That's terrifying. Oh, my bunny slippers are running. That was a cool one because that first part, it sounded like she was stepping on some like shrubbery or some, you know, wood or something. It's just the crunch, unless she was eating something. Wow. I just love it. I think they did awesome on this one. It looks great. You can actually bend it up here so she's in the uh, high mode and then the low mode to eat. And then it's fun because you get to push her on the back to get sounds. And then you can swallow things and store it here and then pull it out. That one's cool. I love the red T-Rex. Now for the one that I've been waiting for. This one's super cool, guys. The Indominus Rex. This looks ghost white, bone white. They ought to call it the Ghost Rex. But right there is Jurassic World, and it's the camouflage and battle Indominus Rex by Dino Trackers by Mattel. And you can see up at the, uh, well, there's an arrow pointing down to the tail where you push on it. And when you push on the tail, you can see right there in the picture that it becomes green. It turns green on the lights inside. It looks super cool. And then it's got the light, which, you know, the light there, and then the uh, speaker for the sounds. And then you can see the... Uh, uh, mountain here, so I assume she's just more of a mountainous region type of a gal. She likes her mountains. And then the back, where it's camouflage and chomp. That's just so cool. That's fun. Side to side attack. So you can actually, looks like, wiggle the tail and she goes side to side and her mouth will open up. God, let's get going, man. I want my gal out. I free you, baby. Light up for me. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, there's the instructions. Okay. And there's the uh, clips. I gotta twist and get out. You have to lift this up because I can't see that one there. And twist. Nice. Oh, he's a baby. It's a bobbin. It's a baby. It's my baby. Look at that. This could have been something in a horror movie. I mean, it's got the ghostly hands. It's bone white and stuff. I mean, God, if they ever made a horror movie uh, out of dinosaurs, I'd pick the Indominus Rex. Could be a Halloween-y thing. So let's turn her legs and feet, make sure they're aligned just right. I mean, just look at that. They're droopy claws. Kind of like a wraith or something. Woo! <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Oh, I wonder if the eyes light up. So there's the mouth before. And yeah, that tongue is quite the length there. And there's no opening there, so you can't stuff things down it. That's cool. And it turns left and right. But I think if the mechanisms. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's not hard. That's rubbery. Man, that's awesome. I think out of all of them, I think my Ghost Rex is the coolest. I'm calling it Ghost Rex, you know. It's my own uh, dinosaur name I give her. I just, wow, this is so cool, guys. She bends at the elbow. It's just those claws. They look really freaky and the bony. And it's just, wow. Okay, so it says she thrashes. Oh, twist side to side. There we go. <laughs> it's like one of those dogs, puppies. They don't understand you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and push on the button here. You guys ready for some sounds and lights? That's super cool, man. That's awesome. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but we'll show off the lights, but it is lighting up green. And that was a cool sound out of all of them. Uh, my Ghost Rex is the best, man. Ghost Rex. Cool. I got to name a superhero. You heard it here first. You know, DC, Marvel, you guys can say, I Ghost Rex. I coined it. Nobody else did. That was a great sound. Now we got to find out how many more. sounds like it was shrieking i mean that's a banshee right there i tell you this is the best man this is okay i think we're cycling but man this is my favorite out of all of them guys here let's go ahead and turn off the lights i gotta see what it looks like in the dark ghost rex coming after us okay, here we go guys three two one that is so cool look at that it still goes green after and you notice it went to the sound when it went like a ghost, like my ghost tracks, that actually like flickered. Oh man, this is so cool, guys. I love it. You can kind of see it in the mouth, but not much. Oh, um, on the side, you got this uh, patch here for the QR code to look it up online with your smartphone. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool, guys. Out of all of them, let's go ahead and bring on Niger, Taterhead, Matt. This one's the coolest out of all of them. I love how she lights up and everything. And be sure to like and subscribe because we'll have more terrifying things for you to watch. Please do. Now on to the Fortnite challenge. We're all going to win in a T-Rex skin. And it, hey, it's a new one, guys. I mean, look, he's got a T-Rex mask. I mean, he's ready for Halloween. Okay, guys, now we're ready for the T-Rex challenge. You got She-Hulk over there doing her feng shui with the blade thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got to find out where I'm going to land here. Sanguine Sweets. Yeah, I think yeah, maybe I'll try that. Let's go. Jump. So, the challenge here is to try to see if like the first drop on the bus is passed, so I bet it's going to be hopping. But um, you can see in the upper right hand corner, I want to be able to complete a quest where I have to reach 10 players remaining with 7 eliminations. i got to get 7. Uh, it's a tall order, but uh, that's why I wanted to land early, see if I can just uh, grab as many eliminations at first that I can. And, oh, pizza, big pot, that's not bad. I wish I had a shotgun. Okay, chest, shotgun, no, DMR, okay. Let's go ahead and take a potty break. Throw some pizza down. Let's go ahead and eat some to shield up. And then take a few slices here. I think four is the max you can carry. Well, four in one slot. I'm not going to take, uh, fill up another slot. Uh, oh, uh, legendary chest. Okay, uh, stick a grenade launcher. Okay, uh, on guard. There we go. Do you need a shotgun? Cool, that's what I want. I'll take the shockwaves over the pizza slices. Rift to go, and you know what? Seems like it's pretty hot in there. Um, I'm gonna go out and 
try to work my way back in. I mean, yeah, there's an opportunity to get many limbs, but also to get eliminated yourself. I'm just not quite up for it just yet. Let's take a potty break. And, okay, this place hasn't been looted, and... And another chest. Ooh, a key. Okay, cool. And I believe there's uh, some safes around here. Try my key in, anything. Yeah, um, let's upgrade our shotgun here. My granny told me if you have a good shotgun, you got the game. Thanks, Graham, Graham. That's how I take out the environments, you know? Grandma, those are the neighbors. The environments. <laughs> and hog time. Uh, soaring sprints, nice. Oh, and you got two chests, cool. Froggy gives me nothing that I could, I don't know. The scope, I think it might be better for me in the long run. <laughs> Every time I uh, see that name, Slappy, reminds me of Animaniacs and that surly squirrel. And Slappy. What about uh, across the street? It says it's open. Oh yeah, okay. A business trip, no. I don't know the way it's looking. I have 52 players left and I haven't gotten a single limb. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get seven limbs before you reach 10 players left. Oh, I hear shooting. Please don't take my limb, my quest. Get a bit closer. Oh, I guess somebody figured out I was here. Let's try this dude here. Oh, great. Oh. I had a bigger magazine. Oh, he's whited. I just wanted the first of them to start my path down the road of getting a total of seven before 10. Oh, let's see. 37. 37 again. Hold still. I'm taking your picture. Oh. Ow. Ouch. Okay, you angry me. Now it's time for the grenade launcher. Ooh, got her once. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like that suction sound, <laughs> or however it's made that suction sound, or it just it really sucks with the sound suction. Oh, and I gotta get six of limbs left. It's still possible. Let's do bloodhound, and then first assault. Let's see if I can find that dude that was close to dying. Oh, shockwaves. That's right. I can buy it from this dude. I forgot. Nice to meet you. Cool. I'm pretty well set. Except I need the business turret. I might need that for close ranges. Whee! I gotta finish up my uh, slurp shield here. Grab some slaps. Okay, 10 short. And maybe there's something up here. You know, might as well take a coconut. Put the lime in the coconut, you eat it all up. Okay, I'm good to go. I like that uh, T-Rex has sneakers on, man. Maybe I'll get the lightsaber for our T-Rex. Didn't I just buy shockwaves from you? You shouldn't be leaving your spot. Ooh. Oh, that was whited. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> all right, five more limbs. Our salesman here, and why he ran away from his spot. Why'd you leave? You got some pretty decent loot here. There we go. Now I'm up to max, I think, on my sticky grenade launcher. I think I still ought to get the force here. Get Ashoka to train me and get the lightsaber. Teach T Rex how to lightsaber and force people, <laughs> or force them off the cliffs. That's cool. There. That's not too bad. I mean, it goes with the sneakers, you know. It blends very well. Oh, God. He really flies with that sword and sprints and lightsaber. That's cool. Got greater mobility. At least higher mobility. That's cool. Oh, man. I got nine players left to get five more limbs. Now, oh, that raptor, I think, is going to be coming after me. I knew it. Eat lightsaber. Ooh. Don't need the meat though. Oh, another raptor? I hear a Kia. Oh, it's down here. Wow. All right. I don't know if I have any use for it, but 
So I got a pretty decent loadout. Okay, five players left. I have to eliminate all five right now to complete my quest to get the uh, exotic badge. Ooh, somebody's right behind me. Oh, he's rocket ramming. I don't know if he notices that I'm here, but I'm not gonna wait. Shockwave. Ooh, yeah, he got me. Little stinker. I think you're so smart. Well, I got shockwaves. And you gotta wait for your rocket ram to recharge, so. Okay, chest is right above me. Okay, no shockwaves there. That's it, top 10, only got two limbs. Well, I didn't complete the quest, but eh, let's keep going. You know, we don't give up. We got shockwaves. That boosts my morale. And then I'm not gonna break the bamboo for that, nor that. I'm just gonna go ahead and start heading in. Oh, right on top of the tower, Ooh, 37. He's marked. He ought to be very afraid. Oh, he's going after him? Okay, who do I hit? Oh, we got him. Oh, somebody's coming up. Bye-bye. <laughs> Into the storm you go. <laughs> oh, he's got soaring leaps too. Oh, someone's trying to snipe me. Not cool. It's that dude again. I bet it's him. He knows I'm here. Let's go ahead and give him some nays. Don't like you on your high tower. Um, oh, I didn't get that a limb. Somebody else did. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, what a mess there. Somebody clean up. <laughs> I'd like to loot, but I don't want to get shot at. Ooh, somebody right there. Oh, force push did nothing. I'm going to shockwave out of here. And again. I think they're hot on my tail. I'll take some coverage here. Okay, 1v3. Oh, he's just above me. I'll shockwave. Okay, ouch. Um, I know it's way out, but I gotta take it to a bush here. Oh, there's shoot some nades your way. Uh, still lurking up there. They're lurkers. Oh, I don't like lurkers. Let's hit it again. Ooh. It's landing up there on the tree, but just not making any uh, hits. So I can go ahead and make my way. Let's go. Okay, 1v2. Oops. Okay. Ooh. I gotta go. Oh, somebody's up on the ledge there. Gotta go down. I gotta, ouch. Oh, sticky. I'm out of here. Ooh, in the storm, not good, not good, not good. Ooh, almost. I know, would have been cool if I'd made it. Okay, they're going at it. Okay, 1v1. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get to the top and force push. I don't have to deal with this. Bye. Woo! Oh, they try to force push too. A little bit of a few moves here while I'm waiting for them to die in the storm. Uh, in case they come back, I better check. Oh, there you go. Yes! Woo, go back to the moves, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more moves to come your way. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.